name piece too. Change your name based on how many dinners you've had together, whether or not you like their clothes, how hard they cry around you, whether or not they misgender you. Fall 2021. Some of the work that has given me opportunities to talk to other artists, especially, is work that, you know, admits that there's like a limit to how much art can do, how much we can do, how much, um, how much we know, especially. I think artists have this pressure. I was just talking to another friend of mine, Shahir Tra... Tra I'll just not say his last name. <laughs> My friend Shahir. Um... I was saying he noticed that some artists in Toronto don't talk about anything but themselves because they're too afraid to take responsibility for anything other than themselves. Or they're too afraid to not get everything right about what they're talking about. And so that to me is the interesting conversation. Um, you know, I went to, I did my BFA at Concordia, my MFA at OCAD. I've done so a total of seven years of higher education in like fine art and you know they literally call your final exam a, a defense you are supposed to you know in some ways get <laughs> attacked interrogated and then you defend your work uh, I, I shouldn't be making work in anticipation of what could go wrong for it took a while for me to just understand that i don't need understanding of my work i mean it would be impossible anyways uh, you know, I make work primarily for myself. I make work to grieve. I make work to get over breakups. I make work to commemorate something fun. But yeah, I, I make work to talk to other artists a lot of the time. Queer people, this sign in particular, was asked of me to make for a party. That's the best place where I can imagine my work being <laughs> at a party. Dialogue is overrated. It's both overrated in the way that people think about it as like exchange. We always assume that like exchange is equal, whereas it's never the case. Like between two speakers, both in like their social positions and the amount of knowledge they carry, the amount of compassion they have for the other speaker. I think those are the dynamics that I want to reveal more in my work. There's an exchange piece Peel a tangerine, eat the fruit while thinking of a loved one. Send the leftover peels to them. Summer 2022. Another one, commitment piece. Go someplace you've wanted to visit for a long time. Don't come back. Summer 2021. Disappointment piece. Sigh in at least seven different tones. Summer 2021. I've also just wanted to make work that's kind of practical. Um, useful or has some sort of passive use. I've been wanting to host more and when I mean host I, I mean it both like literally and I would spiritually like to host more. <laughs> As I get older just realizing you know I have so much that I think should be shared with people not like not like in terms of my ideas but more so just like the space the resources the care compassion having having people over but also just like making people feel welcome in general like in in any sense you know be a be a home for yourself and be a home for other people i think um a lot about this concept in like a psychotherapy of like restoring goodness which in my understanding is the ability to want to be compassionate towards yourself and i, th I think that's what the the good <laughs> is that i'm trying to get at Sien Nagai is a writer, and it's spelled N-G-A-I, writer and scholar who talks about ugly feelings as non-cathartic feelings that have like no grand gesture. They're feelings that are usually about other feelings. You feel uh, guilty about being jealous, and that's a very like non-cathartic anxious feeling that feels very ruminating and I think a lot of a lot of the work I do is about those non-cathartic like ugly feelings if they ever do get resolved I don't think it's with this kind of like large bang of like static revelation for me at least it's like such a it's like a day-to-day -day process it's like a little by little and finding things 
it, it, yeah, it's like much harder, quieter work. I think we don't maybe give enough attention in our lives, like not as artists, just like as people to like quiet things. I realize that a lot of、um, the work I make is an exercise in challenging futility, or just a. An exercise in futility, but not necessarily like, not a bad one, <laughs> like not a not a hopeless one. Maybe if like futility is some sort of like a mud pile, I'm happy to kind of like splash around in it until I find a deeper pile. <laughs>、um, maybe that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I make the work because it genuinely helps me think more about like、uh, what. I want out of like what I'm making, what I want about the relationships I'm forming, what about what I want from the conversations I'm having.、Uh, I think it's like a very good thing that I'm an artist. Like I'm very lucky that I've chosen, you know, this kind of very introspective thing to be my job. Because or else I think I, I would, I really would have had a much harder time like being able to、uh, see myself 